Well, Texas judges now have the option to hold hearings in person. This is after a recent court order. Yeah, they were really on hold as the restrictions start to lift, though. It could take a while to clear the backlog of court cases caused by COVID-19. Nabil Ramadna looked into this, shows us what's going on and when we could see courts get back to normal. In March of 2020, courts across Texas moved operations online. Over the last year, we've seen over 1.1 million remote hearings. But the pandemic put most trials on hold. David Slayton with the Texas Office of Court Administration says in 2019, the Texas courts averaged 186 jury trials every week. In the months before March 13th and the end of January, there have been just 222 jury trials in Texas. A little over one week's worth in almost a year. Um, so obviously that's that's a, a you know big been a big issue. Criminal jury trials have seen the largest impact. Probably the biggest issue uh, for us has been having um, criminal jury trials where jail isn't as a, as a uh, punishment of those because people do have a right to confront their witnesses and that's generally been considered to be in person. Slayton says so far there haven't been any remote criminal jury trials. There have been some in person but not enough to clear the backlog that continues to grow across the state. Victims and people accused of crimes have not been able to get their day in court. Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza says that means busy days ahead for his staff. There are some cases that, that will not be able to move until we can have jury trials again. And I know we're working hard uh, to ensure that that happens. The vaccine rollout brings hope that things can return to normal soon. Obviously, we, once we feel comfortable with the fact that most people have had access to that, it allows us to begin to sort of return to more normal in-person operations. Nabil Ramatna, KXAN News.